Hello and welcome to CCTV42.com. In this video, we're going to look at motion detection recording on a DVR. A little explanation about what it is and how to set it up. It's quite a clever feature. The DVR monitors the picture from the camera and if it senses movement within the picture, then it triggers a recording. Now all our DVRs feature what's called a split hard drive. The hard drive is divided into two segments. One segment is used for normal recording. You basically hit record and let it run. That's that segment there. But the second segment is reserved for what's called event recording. So if you've had motion triggered recording, then the DVR will store that information in this segment of the hard drive. The benefit of that is that whilst your normal recordings will get written over, you can keep recordings in the events section for an awfully long time, sometimes of many months. It's also much easier to find recordings because you're searching by event. You don't have to trawl through lots of hours of footage. So, let's see motion detection in action. Someone's walked across a screen, it's detected movement and it's showing motion on camera one. Also, the telltale on the event's hard drive is flashing to say that it's recording an event. You can also set the DVR to give an audio alert when motion sensing recording has been triggered. So how do we turn on motion sense recording on our DVR? Go to menu, log in, go to setup and choose camera. Now we click the tick box to turn motion detection on on that particular camera. Clicking settings allows us to determine how long before the event trigger and how long after the event trigger the DVR records. Let's go back to the camera view. Right, what we want to do now is we want to motion trigger recording for people entering or leaving this doorway, but the rest of the screen we don't want to trigger motion sensed recording, so people walking up and down here won't trigger it. What we can do is we can exclude certain areas of the screen from triggering motion sensed recording. Again, go to cameras, go to motion settings and go to detection settings. What we now have is a grid across the whole screen. If we want to, we can blank off the whole of the screen, we can record the whole of the screen or we can exclude certain areas. So what we're going to do, we're going to blank off the whole screen except for this area here. Then all you do is left click on the mouse and drag the area that you want to record from. Then click set. Now escape and exit. The DVR will say are you sure you want to change those settings? Click yes and then exit the setup menu. Now what happens is when there's any movement outside of the recording area no motion sense recording takes place. So there's someone walking where before we had motion sense triggering but now you can see there's no telltale in the screen and also the events hard drive telltale isn't flashing which means there's no recording taking place. However if the DVR senses movement within the zone that we've set as a motion triggered area it once again triggers motion sense recording. You can see the script rolling across the screen to alert you to motion on camera one and the event's hard drive telltale flashes. If you set up remote access to your CCTV system you can also get the DVR to email you an image of whatever triggered the motion sensing. We cover this feature on another one of our video tutorials. To access any of the motion trigger recordings all we have to do is search by event select it from the drop down menu and then double click. We can now play back in the normal way. I hope that's given you a useful oversight to motion triggered recording. It's a good feature especially things like the email alert if you're away from your premises and something happens. My name's Henry, we're CCTV42.com, many thanks for watching.